Hi, in this video, I'm going to show how a humble matrix mixer can unlock the potential of a modular synthesizer, especially the VCO. And uh, in this video, I will be using this uh, Behringer Neutron um, I purchased because it seems to be a thing that a lot of beginners purchase. So I figured I should test my models with it and why not use it to show what a matrix mixer can do. So in this example, what we're going to do is use the matrix mixer to conduct some basic wave shaping. I'll stop the sequence so we can concentrate on the tone. And right now we're just hearing one oscillator of the neutron. Uh, it's doing kind of a blend of saw. I'll try and change it to pulse. I feel like it ha has kind of a weird pulse wave, but um, we'll use that. And we're going to be doing this oscillating feedback and wave shaping using the matrix mixer. The easiest way to think about it is that you have uh, four inputs. Basically think about it like a buffered molt. So you've got a row of input one, a buffered molt of input two, a buffered molt of input three, and a buffered molt of input four for three rows. And then those are, uh, you've got three outputs and a summed output and then each row is just kind of a mixer. So I'm uh, each row mixes those buffered multiples into that output. So output A, output B, output C, and then we're using uh, that last summed output A, B, and C as our listening device. So right now I've got the oscillator going into input one, and the summed output is coming out to our sound system. That's what we're hearing. So to start feeding this oscillator into itself, I'm going to take a cable and I'm going to patch output A or actually output B. Output B will give me a little more control. I'm going to patch that into the oscillator shape. As I turn up this knob, it's going to start feeding that waveform as CV to control its own shape, creating a self-modulating wave shape. And even though the neutron has a shape control, you can do this with a regular oscillator too uh, by using the pulse width modulation input. We're also going to do some frequency modulation here in a sec. And here's the sequence playing while I adjust the feedback. So now I'm going to do this a little bit more, taking output C and patching that to the FM. So this is going to get squirrely because now I'm modding the frequency modulation of the oscillator with itself. It gets some really clangy, kind of almost ring modi effects. So that's a way to create new wave shapes. And again, we're only using one oscillator. We haven't even used the second oscillator. We've got a couple more inputs too. So there's a lot you can do to open up the tonal capabilities of an oscillator. Thanks for watching. It's more information at AISynthesis.com.